Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Jerome, and right now I'm gonna bring you a quick video regarding hard drives, SSDs, and online backup. If you haven't backed up your files and sessions, I um, highly suggest you do. I had a PC crash in 2012, and it was horrible. So I wanna prevent this from happening to you guys, so check out this video and let me know if this helps. Thanks. All right, guys, so here we are looking at my tower. Um, just real quick, I decided to run with SSDs inside this one. Um, you can load VSTs and drum banks faster. Um, you can write quicker. They last longer. There's no disk spinning. So, you know, I could kick this computer and it probably still would work. You know, no disks are going to get scratched or anything with hard drives. Um, so th that's out of the way for people who want to know what I use inside my computer. Um, but today we're mainly focused on backups. So let's start here. I got two externals up here that I carry... Um, if I go anywhere, you know, I, I have those. So I have two externals right there off the bat that I back up to um, all the time. And then if we look around back here, we have one uh, thing that's a two terabyte hard drive. That little one right right there in the middle, that Roswell, I believe is uh, what it's called. That's another SSD, and that's actually in an external en enclosure. And I don't think you're supposed to do that, but I did it anyways. Um, it's USB 3.0 as well. I plug that to the back of the PC. Um, and then it, if you look right next to it right there, that's another hard drive. Now, this SSD um, right here isn't for backup. That's that's to like, that's extra VST room and stuff for FL Studio. And um, my VSTs, my large sample libraries and stuff like that. So really I have one, two, three, four. I have four external hard drives. And then you... You know, you may be thinking to yourself, that's that's enough. You know, that's fine. You got um, you, you got four backups. So if one burns out, you got three more. But here's the thing to consider, guys. What if there's a fire? Or what if there's a break-in, unfortunately? God forbid, you know, um, there's an accident or something, and you lose your files, you know? What are you going to do now? Having a physical hard drive is great and all, but... When that physical drive gets burnt or lost or stolen, what are you gonna do about your drives? So I did a lot of online looking for online backup and I did a lot of research, guys, you know me. Um, I go in depth and I'll, I'm gonna show you guys this right here. This is, um, this is some of the online services and companies you, you can buy from. Um, the main ones I looked at were Carbonite and Crash Plan. these two, seem to be the best from the reviews. I'm not going to tell you who I went with because I don't want this to seem like a like a like promotional video or I'm getting paid. I'm not going to tell you who I used, but I use one of these on here for online backup. Super easy, guys. Um, what happens is every day you can schedule it to backup if you want. You can schedule it to automatically backup when you add new files. Um, a lot of these programs have some cool features and stuff, but um this is a video for you guys to tell you to back up all your files, all your sessions, all your trackouts. Um, I know for me, I like to, it slows me down because I, I, I never used to do this, but I used to finish beats and then just, um, I would export a tagged version and an untagged and I would never track out the beats. I would never label all the freaking 20, 40, 60 mixer tracks because I'm lazy, right? Well, ever since 2012, Every beat I finish, I track out on the spot right then and there. I back it up. I put it on all of my hard drives. I put it on my online backup. That way, I'm set. I know this isn't a fun tutorial or like review or anything. This isn't something showing some cool sounds. But um, years down the road, when you build up a client base, it, if you're not already there, um, you're going to want to have your files backed up because it's crucial. You know, you can have that perfect lead or that perfect, you know, take of the guitar with your friend in the studio and you could have that perfect, you know, and you can have that MP3 on the internet, but what happens to the stems when you want to remix it or something? Or what happens to, you know, a sale whenever a buyer wants to buy exclusive rights, but only if they have, you know, the stems. So, um, just keep extra backups, guys. I got backups on more backups on more backups. Um, and I highly suggest 
getting SSD drives, um, even if you use it in an external X closure like that, like it's going to improve your performance tenfold. Um, so just a quick tip for you guys. Um, leave me a thumbs up, a like. Thank you again, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.